up? It is the amazing Kent, and I am throwing a tutorial at your face. Um, this is going to be a tutorial for 1.0 Minecraft, how to install too many items and single player commands. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to start Minecraft and delete your old dot .minecraft. Delete it. Now, if you have saves there that you want to keep, or if you have, you know, achievements or whatever, you're going to want to copy those certain files. So let's say you want to delete everything, but you want to save your saves and texture pack. You see this percent app data right here? You want to type that in and press OK. If you don't have your run shortcut on your desktop, you're just going to go here and see where the start search thing is here. You're just going to type in percent app data percent roaming. Click on that, and then there you go. All right, so I'm going to go back to my uh, little dot Minecraft here, and you're going to see this. Now, if you want to erase yours, take your texture packs, stats, and saves and go ahead and put those and make a backup if you want to save those. If you want to start over new, go ahead. Um, what you want to make sure though is if in your saves, um, let's say you were using the Clay Soldiers mod, make sure um, that all that you know there's no Clay Soldiers around, you haven't placed any other mods because Minecraft will crash if you've placed mods and then you play that save without the mods. It will crash, it'll it'll be bad. So make sure those saves have not been modded at all. So without further ado, let's go ahead and head right into this. We're going to open single player commands first. You want to go into bin. You want to go into your minecraft.jar. You're going to right click it and put open with and then click on winrar. Here is your dot minecraft page. The very first thing you want to do, very first is delete meta inf. Delete it or you will get the black screen. You want to press yes and there you go. Now we're going to drag all of our single player commands into our minecraft.jar. Boom. Done. Okay. Now we're going to close single player commands and get out too many items. Whoops. Don't want to highlight that folder. Oh, there we go. We're going to minecraft.jar, drag it in. Boom. Okay. We want to exit all of this. And there you go. Now, as I was saying before about backing up your saves, um, when you back up your saves, oh, whoops, wrong one, you want to put them in your user folder because that's where they're easiest able to access. And basically what you're going to want to do is now that I've modded it, I want to save, look, I've already saved a clean Minecraft. Oh, whoops, no, that's not the right one. So now that I've created this, let's say, you know, I want to further mod it. Press OK, and then just copy and paste. So now I have all my mods installed on this dot Minecraft, and so when I go to install further mod, blah, and when I go into install further mods, like SDK's gun mod, like you know Scavi's mod, whichever. Now if it fails, I have my old dot Minecraft right here, and I can revert to that easily. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start up Minecraft. Um, it's going to require me to log in. Yep. So I'm going to just type in my password, enter logged in. Now watch this. Boom! It works! And This isn't the best part. Ready? Create new world. Let's call it YouTube. YouTube. Oh, YouTube. That's not what I wanted at all. YouTube. There we go. Um, let's go world options. Let's put the seed as this video is for you, YouTube. Done. Create new world. Are you guys ready? It's gonna be so great. Building terrain, come on, hurry. I'm so excited. But you guys are too, you know. You guys just installed your mods. Saving chunks, simulating world. Bah! Here it is. You see that little too many items message on the bottom? And we're gonna press E. Too many items. What? You got your music disc, you got your potions, your glowstone, your whatever, and there you guys go. It's it's installed, you know. If I wanna if I wanna access, you know, okay, let's do a fly. It works. T fly. So there you guys go. There is a tutorial. Uh, too many items is really easy to use. Um, I will give you guys a link. I've created a word document with all the commands for single player commands. I will go ahead and I will give you guys a um, download for that world document or that word document, and then you guys will be able to use that. 
Um, and then that will be the list of the single player commands. And to me, I'm is really simple. The buttons are super simple. Delete mode on off. Let's say I add a bunch of stone stairs and I hate them, you know, and I add a bunch of this stuff and I don't want any of that. Shift, delete all. Boom. And so um, you've got creative mode. You can switch from creative mode and back. You've got rain. If it's raining and rain makes you lag like me, you can turn it off. You can set the time of day. You can save your loadout. You can name it in the properties file. It's a whole lot of good stuff. So there you guys go. Um, that was your tutorial. Uh, if you guys have any questions, any problems, go ahead and let me know. Um, I know that when I first installed this, you know, I'd forget to delete the meta inf. You know, I'd install them in the wrong place. It's okay. Um, and I wanted to let you guys know too. This is these two are so easy to install. You don't even need mod loader, mod loader MP, audio mod. Seriously, everything I did is all you need to do. It's a very very simple mod to install. Go ahead, like, rake, subscribe, whatever you want to do to this, you know, share it with your friends, share it with your mother, watch it with your grandma, you, you know, go ahead and share this. Thanks for watching, guys.